going everybody welcome back and we're going to talk about another piece that came in for that build for my red 78 gmc pickup truck and obviously you can tell it's this little fella here on the back end now that's the pit stock from the guys over at strike industries and it's a little guy i mean look at the size of that thing uh, and it's definitely bright red so that truck is red and that's kind of why the eventual build is going to be you know black and red if I decide to keep it that way because that's a little bit Gucci for my taste. So Strike sent this out, like I said, for me to check out, play around with, and kind of do a review on it as well as, you know, have something to match the build that I'm doing for that truck. Uh, generally, I wouldn't go for something like that, but I figured, what the heck, I'm going to do a Gucci AR build, why not? Or semi-Gucci anyways. And I thought this would be a good idea. So we're going to check this thing out and kind of give you guys a really good idea up close of what it looks like, the machine work and all that stuff. Um, and kind of why you may or may not be interested in this, because this is probably one of the most minimal stocks that you're going to find out there. It does have some positives and it does have some negatives when it comes down to it, depending on what you are looking for and what you intend to do with it. Now, I'm doing this as a shorter video just on some of these parts because not everybody has that time to watch the entire build video when that comes out. And they just want to get information on some of these smaller parts. And people's time is valuable. And as we all know, time's a heavyweight champ. It gets us all in the end, and it's the one thing we're not making any more of. So I'm trying to put out some shorter videos for you guys out there. So if you're into that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. So we are going to take a good up-close look at this here pit stock from the guys over at Strike Industries. Kind of show you the intricate details of it, and then talk about what's good and what's bad about it. Because it's not always peaches and cream when it comes to these parts. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Hit that bell notification icon so you get the uh, alerts when the videos come out. That thing is just small. <laughs> very, very minimalist design here. Well, let's just talk about the overall uh, quality of this thing here right up front. So the machine work on this thing, it, it's nice. I mean, it appears to be very good. There's no tool marks. There's no, uh, no really bad edge work on it. It's good, clean work, which is pretty much what I would expect. So very minimalist, you can see in here, that's obviously where your receiver extension is going to go in. There are some rubber kind of like buffer pads that go in there and fit in this recessed area to kind of help keep it taunt against their receiver extension. Got some nice line work on it, you know, some holes in there. I don't know what those do other than looks. You get the Strike Industries logo on that side. And you're going to have their patent information on this side. You do have a QD mount on both sides. You got some really good aggressive texture on the back of it. Everything here has been skeletonized to make this thing just super light. So down in here, this is your actual uh, pull lever for adjusting this stock. Now you only get two slots of adjustment in here and I'll show you that just in a second. The reason for that is you can see right there, there's a little stop. So as you put this on the receiver extension, that's gonna catch so you can't compact this further because you know then you'd be eating the end of the receiver extension. So not bad overall. And there is a secondary part that you can actually replace down in here so you can permanently affix this in a spot. It's just a screw that goes up in there and makes it very, very solid. I just prefer to have this on here so I can actually remove it. So speaking about that, you have to have the receiver extension from Strike Industries. You'll notice there's a groove in this one right there. That is specifically to fit right in there because if you have a standard receiver it's tube but hey it is what it is it's for this specific build so i was going to do it well i don't know what to tell you it's small and size matters just ask your significant other so it's interesting it's a pretty cool little design and it's a uh it's something cool and i like innovation i like stuff do i think it could have been made a little bit better yes i do I think leaving that top exposed kind of, you know, gears it towards rattling and being a little bit loose like that. Not really my thing, but it's really a cool design. And I think had they maybe molded it all the way over, might be a little bit more palatable to a lot of people or maybe made it like a little bit longer so you could have another position or something like that. Because for me being a little bit longer, even all the way out on that last position, it's just really short for me to get a really good length of pull on for kind of the natural length of my arms. So what are those positives? Well, it's obviously extremely minimalist and light. They've got a ton of color options out there for you, and it looks kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie, it definitely looks like an interesting, cool little piece to have on a custom build. So what are those negatives? Well, it's a little loud, like I showed you. So it's gonna make a little bit of noise, so if you're a snoop and poop kind of person out there with a rifle, probably not gonna be the option for you. Uh, another negative is, it's gonna be the price, because even though itself is not that expensive, 
you have to buy the whole setup because it's not going to work with a mil spec receiver extension. So you have to buy the specific Strike Industries one and you have to buy that stock, which is just a little bit of a buzzkill. And then I talked about being really short as far as that length of pull and again, that price. So that could be a positive or it could be a negative depending on where you start from. Make sure you are subscribed to that channel. I've noticed that a lot of you are watching the videos for a long time, but you're not subscribed. So go ahead and hit that notification icon as well. It's that little bell down there and give this video a like. Links are down below if you're interested. If you want to support the channel, check out that subscribe star. But I will see you guys on the next one.